In the United States of America, the death penalty is usually sought for the most heinous crimes, such as the murder of another human being. In contrast, the Bible doles out the death penalty for a myriad of trivial circumstances, which our modern-day court system does not even recognize as being misdemeanors. However, if America became a Christian nation, the courts would have the power to execute someone that shows disrespect to a priest or even someone that is found to be in contempt of the court itself. American courts would also be morally bound to execute witches, fortune tellers, non-believers, false prophets, anyone that works on Sunday, any woman that is not a virgin before she is married, a stubborn and disobedient child, anyone that blasphemes, and anyone that curses their parents. In fact, in Mark chapter 7 verse 10, Jesus Christ himself reiterates the command against cursing one's parents, including the punishment of death. But even with Jesus Christ's seal of approval, you would be hard pressed to find a single Christian that takes seriously any of the crimes listed in Exodus, Leviticus, and Deuteronomy, especially Christ's proclamation of death to those that would curse their parents which gives new meaning to the phrase, what would Jesus do? Although some Christians may feel tempted to distance themselves from this verse, what many of them do not realize is that in the book of Leviticus, where Jesus Christ's citation of this verse can be originally found, in the very same chapter, just four verses away, is located the passage that Christians constantly reference when attempting to justify legislation that vies to place limits on the freedoms and liberties of their fellow Americans. Both the Bible and Quran believe homosexuality is a crime. In fact, the following Islamic countries have been known to implement the death penalty for sodomy and other homosexual acts. Although a majority of Western countries no longer have laws against homosexuality, in 2008, Pope Benedict actually blocked legislation by the United Nations that would have decriminalized homosexuality in other parts of the world. Several nations, uh, led by France and, and the other members of the European Union, introduced a resolution that would decriminalize people for being gay in countries around the world. And um, the Vatican opposed that. Jeff Stone, I'm from the gay Catholic group Dignity USA. They claim that it would lead to same-sex marriage, but it, it has nothing to do with same-sex marriage. It was really just a question of making it legal to be gay so that people couldn't be persecuted as they have been in many countries and, and simply thrown in jail. A gay Catholic seems like a Jewish Nazi to us, but what he's saying matters. There are still 81 countries where it's illegal to be gay and seven where you can actually be put to death for it. The Vatican seems to be okay with that. Maybe that's just a wee bit hypocritical. One of the most basic teachings of the Catholic Church is that all people are children of God and that they're entitled to dignity and respect. So it seems that the church is not really living up to that ideal. And the almost ultimate irony is that I do not know of an organization anywhere that has such a high proportion of gay people in its employ. According to some studies, anywhere between 20 to 50% of all priests may be gay. Many Christians place an overwhelming emphasis on this single passage, alluding to this supposed command of God when lobbying to prevent gay rights and anti-discrimination laws. Yet, they cherry-pick from God's other moral commands as it suits them, failing to persecute fortune-tellers, blasphemers, non-virginal brides, and anyone that works on Sunday with the same rabid religious fervor. Although many Christian denominations continue to perpetuate discrimination against gays and lesbians, the Old Testament goes much further by actually prescribing the death penalty for any homosexual act. But could you see Christian ministers condemning their fellow American citizens to death solely on the basis of sexual orientation? Perhaps not. But that doesn't stop Christian leaders from exporting their discriminatory hate speech to other parts of the world, like Uganda, whose governments are willing to follow God's law to the letter. 
A group of American evangelicals traveled to a faraway land, a place where homosexuality is already a crime, to speak out against it. Since that seminar, anti-gay fervor has continued to ferment. Now, if a controversial bill passes, your homosexuality may cost you your life. As Dan Harris reports for our series, Faith Matters. The gay movement is an evil institution. That's goal, the goal of the gay movement is to defeat the marriage-based society. This is the American evangelical Scott Lively speaking at an event called the Seminar on Exposing the Homosexual Agenda, half a world away in the African country of Uganda. No, we say no to homosexuals. We don't allow homosexuals. <laughs> We went to Uganda to investigate what has happened in the aftermath of that conference. This. Homosexuality is prohibited here in Uganda. We don't want it. An extraordinary wave of homophobia. Which even includes a bill that would put some gays and lesbians to death. The bill is supported by one of the country's most popular pastors, Martin Sempa, who helped host that conference with the American evangelicals. Africans unite against I'm going to give evidence on what homosexuals do. We found Sempa whipping up support for the bill by showing his followers extraordinarily graphic gay pornography. This is them. In Africa, Sodom is an abomination, a taboo, and an evil. Does all this fit in your mind with the spirit of Christianity, which is to help the oppressed? Very much, very, very much. We need to know what are they doing in their bedroom. And uh, you cannot make comments out of ignorance. The problem is the absence of shock. You know, you look at the same thing, Dan, you're not shocked. You could play porn between men and women in shock people too, but but it's not done very frequently. Sir, any inter uh, activity, anything having to do with eating of poop, heterosexuals do not eat poop. In the same way, if you have sex with a dog, sex with a cow, that's evil. They start off by touching each other's genitals and smelling each other. Critics say this extreme anti-gay fervor is in part the result of a concerted campaign by American Christians to export our culture wars to Africa. A campaign that reached a crescendo at that conference we told you about. Even though probably the majority of homosexuals are not oriented toward young people, there's a significant number that are. And that they, when they see a child that's from a broken home, it's like they have a flashy neon sign over their head. I'm not going to sit back and let them attempt to overthrow Christian civilization. That's really what it comes down to. Lively is the author of a book called The Pink Swastika, in which he argues that Nazism was actually a gay movement. A large number of Hitler's inner circle were homose homosexual, and Hitler himself was uh, homosexual. The vast majority of Holocaust scholars would violently disagree with you. Well, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that... Uh, that the Nazi movement was largely a homosexual movement? Well, the, the, the book has 400 page, pages of documentation. At home, these views may be marginalized or even mocked, but the hundreds of Ugandan teachers, cops, and politicians at the conference took them quite seriously. Months later, a bill was introduced called the Anti-Homosexuality Bill of 2009, which calls for death by hanging for gay and lesbian serial offenders, and also prison time for anyone, including parents, who fail to hand over someone they know is gay or lesbian to the police. These are good, Christian, better Christians in Uganda than there are here in this country. They care about each other. And the reason that this law is in place, the reason that they, that they I think that they're pushing so hard on this is that they don't want to see happen to their country what's happened over here. Homosexuality is prohibited here in Uganda. We don't want it.